Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am going to show you how to use a roughly 10 years old 3D Connection Space Explorer Space Mouse in 2022. So let's get started. So basically I bought this 3D Connection Space Explorer Space Mouse for 27 euro because it was stated in the advertisement that it's faulty and it does not connect to a computer anymore and I thought okay I will try to repair it and then I connected it to my PC and basically at the end I could make it work so let me guide you through on the process how to use this old space mouse in 2022 in Fusion 360 could be that this also works also in other function, but I only have Fusion 360, so I cannot test SolidWorks and, and Solid Edge, for example. So let's switch over to Window Capture, and I will show you the 3D Connection website. So if you open up 3D Connection website, this is the first page. So, so one thing you're gonna need to, to use a space mouse like this, you need a driver. So we have to go to Support, and then here you can see the driver download and then click on download latest 3d xr and this is basically where most people is screwing it up and thinks that it's not supported anymore it's true that it's not supported anymore but you can still use it so if you download this version 10.8.5 i can tell you it does not work so let me install this 10.8.5 and let me show you what it does Okay, so now it's installed. You can see it's 10.8.5 is, is the installed one. So let's plug it in. You can hear the, the noise in Windows that it's being recognized. And then let's open the Cine connection software. And as you can see, no application selected. It does not recognize at all. I am now in Fusion 360, I can move it all around, but nothing is changes, LED is not lighting up, so it just simply does not work. So if I go into the 3D connection app, go to settings, no application selected, it's, it's not being recognized at all. So if you go back to the 3D connection website, here in the bottom you can see discontinued, discontinued devices page and search in driver archive so i opened up these two this is the archive and this is the discontinued products as you can see here in the bottom the space explorer is not produced since 2013 and last day of mainstream support was in 2016. latest windows driver version of mainstream support is 10.4.3 and latest Windows Drive version of extended support is, is uh, 10.6.4. So this is what you have to do. You have to download the 10.6.4 driver. So let's do this. No, I already downloaded this. And then you have to go into your app manager. As you can see, this is still at 10.8.5 and you have to uninstall the newest version. If you already installed it, so uninstalled successfully, it's not here anymore. So now you have to download the 10.6.4, which is the latest supported driver. I already did this, so we know we will install 10.6.4. And here's the first trick that you have to do. So you can see here in the bottom, check online if an update is available. If this one is ticked in, then it will always look for a new driver. And as soon as a new driver is available and you will accept to install the latest one, your Space Explorer will not be supported anymore. So remove the tick from this and click next. And again here, Remove the tick from automatic check, check for updates. We do not need updates. We want to use the old driver because this is which is still supported. And just hit install. And 
just click finish. Now it wants to regist register your space mouse. We do not want to do this. So we just close this and basically we are done. So if I open now the, the app, you can see the Space Explorer is being recognized. Although it's stated here that it's this new device, but it still works. So if I go now to the app and I will go to the, the demo, for example, then you can see that I can move it all around. So it just works perfectly fine. Let's open a Fusion 360 because there are also some tricks you have to you have to do to make it work properly. So as you can see, now I can move it all around. If I click on anything, even the buttons ask works, all the button works. You can go to press left, right, all these buttons work perfectly fine. So one trick you have to do the, here in Fusion 360, if it does not work for you, you go here to preferences. And here, as you can see in the middle, there is a space mouse driver. So here you have to select the legacy driver and not the latest one because it, if you select the latest one, it wants to use the latest one and it might not work for you. So let's select legacy, legacy, legacy one, and then click OK. And that's it. So it works perfectly fine. So OK, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you found it felt helpful. And basically, with this way, you can still use such cheap space mouse in your CAD software. It might also work on SOLIDWORKS, but I, as I told, I, I, I cannot try it because I don't have this software for myself. So the only important thing is that you have to select the latest supported driver and then it will continue working, hopefully for a really long time. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful. If yes, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.